Panasonic is the environmental innovation company. By 2018, which is Panasonic's 100th anniversary, Panasonic aims to be the number one electronics environmental innovation company in the world. And in order to do that, we have to change our focus a little bit to energy. So Panasonic is now an energy company, and we're going to help you create, store, save, and even manage your own energy. And in order to do this, we're going to need some partners, so Panasonic acquired Sanyo. Now Sanyo has vast expertise in batteries as well as solar power generation. When you combine that with all of Panasonic's consumer electronics expertise as well as similar battery knowledge, who knows what's going to result from that. So far, we have two different ways to create your own energy, the solar power generator and the residential fuel cell. So let's look a little more closely at our two create energy options. The solar cell. Now this uses the HIT technology by Sanyo, and that means there are several very, very thin layers of silicon stacked on top of each other. And when the sun hits that, it makes electricity and it does so with absolutely no carbon dioxide emissions whatsoever. And it's a fully renewable source of power because the sun, it just keeps on shining. And now we are so efficient at gathering the sun's power that we can turn almost 19% of that sun's power into electricity. But of course, the sun's not always shining, so you're gonna need a supplemental co complementary power source as well. So Panasonic suggests you have a residential fuel cell. Now this is a cogeneration plant. What does that mean? It means that it does two things. It not only generates electricity, it is also a hot water heater. How does it do both things at once? It actually utilizes the basic concept of a hydrogen fuel cell. In a hydrogen fuel cell, you take hydrogen, which in this case we're getting from natural gas, and you introduce it to oxygen from the air outside, inside of the fuel cell stack. There's a chemical reaction with three results. Electricity, which is great because that's what you were aiming for in the first place, right? The second one is water. Amazing, it's a completely clean way of extracting electricity from fuel. And the third is heat. Now if you were performing this process far from your home at a traditional power plant, all that heat would dissipate and you would not get to use it for any purpose. But since we're doing this at home, we can capture that heat and use it to heat our water and have a nice jacuzzi spa bath just as a bonus of generating our electricity. It's actually a, a waste product, a byproduct, but we're gonna use it to our advantage. So it's a very effective way of getting power out of fuel. Let's look a little closer to what happens inside of the fuel cell. This is the natural gas entering the fuel cell. Now, there is already a natural gas infrastructure. You can just hook up to your current utility company. So we're using the existing infrastructure. That methane goes into the fuel processor and comes out as hydrogen. That joins up with oxygen inside of the fuel cell stack, has a chemical reaction, and out comes electricity. We send that to an inverter, and off it goes to your home as standard AC. It's household current now. And you can plug in your Viera Plasma TV, your Blu-ray disc player, any other toys that you have, you can power them all with your home hydrogen fuel cell. Amazing. But of course we said not only electricity came from the chemical reaction, right? We also got heat. So we send that heat down to a heat exchanger, introduce cold water, and out comes hot water. And now we have 200 liters, 53 gallons of 149 degree Fahrenheit, 65 degrees Celsius water. So we can take a steamy shower, a nice relaxing bath, run it in pipes underneath the tiles in our bathroom to get toast to toes. We can do all of that courtesy of our electrical generator. It just gave it to us free as a bonus. With electricity, get hot water. Amazing, it's a very efficient way of getting power from your fuel. If you are doing that process at a traditional thermal power plant, it first of all would be burning it. And it would only be accessing about 35 to 40 percent of the fuel's potential power as electricity. The rest would be sent away into the air as heat. 
Now, it would have to travel all the way from the power plant all the way along to your home. And all along the way, it would be losing a little bit of that power. There's a transmission loss, so you access even less of that fuel's potential. Now, when you do this at home with your home power plant, you not only does this fuel cell stack access 38 to 39 percent of the electrical potential of your natural gas, you also capture 50 to 55 percent of the potential as hot water. So you're getting almost 90 percent of the potential power out of your fuel. It is a much more efficient way of getting power out of fuel. And both of these products contribute toward progressing towards a low carbon society, a low carbon future. Incredible. Now you've made all of this power from your solar cells and your hydrogen fuel cells, but you don't necessarily use the power exactly when you create it, right? You usually watch TV at night, but it's sunny during the day. It's okay, you can stash away that power for later use. Panasonic has a residential storage battery. Now Panasonic already makes 100 million of these little lithium ion batteries every year, already. They're probably in your laptops that you have at home. But now we've combined them into these modules. There's 140 of them in there. It's a 1.5 kilowatt hour battery. But it's modular. So it means that you can adjust it, arrange it, configure it, however you need to fit your needs. Here we put six of them together and it's a residential storage battery. Or you can put them into a hybrid car, or you can put them in an electric motorcycle, or you can use them for any industrial use. Anytime you need to store energy for later, you can configure our battery modules most effectively for your needs. Incredible. So you've made power and you've stored power. And you want to make sure you don't waste power.